We did it! We did it, Stinger Flynn! We did it, Stinger Flynn! We have uploaded a Gurgen Flurgen Churgen video. Now, we can sit back and, and relax and watch this great movie uh, uh, Among Us. Yo, know, Stinger Flynn. I still, I still have one question about, about the accolade. I, I know, I know I agreed that we're gonna do this video and I'll just forget about it for the rest of my life. But I do have one last question. How much was the accolade? Cause like, if, if it was like $10 million, then I could kind of see why it's just 50 minutes of them in a room talking. You know what, let's do it. Let's see how much the accolade is. Uh, uh, accolade. But budget. <gasps> ah! 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 A hundred and eighty million dollars. A hundred and eighty million dollars. Uh, oh, oh, that's a hundred million more than Walter White had. A hundred and eighty million dollars. A hundred and eighty million dollars. If you if you look at the budgets for big Hollywood films a lot, that may not seem like a huge amount. Most Marvel movies are two hundred to two hundred and fifty million dollars each. But still, a hundred and eighty million dollars is a lot of money. And with shows and films like like Marvel or Lord of the Rings or any sort of big franchise, it kind of shows its budget. Hell, to to bring up an example, uh, Godzilla X Kong, right? And that movie cost about 135 million. But it's the fact that the Acolyte is a show that prefers to tell and not show. The main target is these three, four. It is only a small part of her master's larger plan. A plan that you have to say. But if it comes to it, and she doesn't listen to me... Jesus Christ, can you her. do anything else than talk? And I'm just gonna say, I don't hate the Acolyte because, oh, boring talk talk, do more action. There is a way to make talking scenes compelling, and that is having a character that you can latch onto that is interesting. Let's do a little example. Let's take Asuka from Evangelion. I'm the reason Asuka is such a compelling character and not whatever her name is, is because she has her own personal struggles that are outside of the main conflict. The only struggles I see with this bitch is that she has a twin sister that's <coughs> killing people. That's just the main conflict right there. Asuka's main conflict is that she has to go into a robot every episode and fight angels. We also get to see her personal conflict outside of the angels. Her personal trauma and the way she pushes people away has nothing to do with fighting the angels. I mean like, fuck, her mother hang herself. Blur. Meanwhile, the main character's main conflicts of this show are dictated by the conflicts of the episode. Who are you as a person? Not the conflicts around you. Who are you? Oh shit, the music's stinging up. We're about to see a, a fight scene with the Wookiee Jedi. Uh, oh. Uh, we're, we're on cars, huh? Uh, oh, whatever. We're, we'll, we'll probably see him fight later, right? Oh. Never mind, he died off screen. It mostly just has people sitting or standing around in a room talking to each other. So where did that $180 million go? Because the few lightsaber fights I've seen, I've seen fan films 
that do lightsaber effects like that. I've seen fan films that make lightsaber fights that look like the ones in the Acolyte. <laughs> VFX is not as much of a novelty as it used to be, and it doesn't really take that much money anymore to make some really great stuff. I mean, just just look at Godzilla Minus One. It came out this year, $15 million, and they did this. That shot looks real. There are several examples of scenes that I can pull up that would greatly benefit from being an action scene instead of a piece of exposition. For example, in the first video, I, I made a bit where they just kept talking and talking and talking, and I basically just act annoyed by the amount of, that they were talking. But if you listen into the dialogue, they start talking about how they were hunted persecuted. Tonight we enact a ceremony we have not performed since our exile. We were hunted, persecuted. Wouldn't that be an exciting scene to watch instead of having it told in a dialogue scene? Then the budget would actually show itself. This calls back to my show don't tell. If you have a massive budget to show things, then show the budget. Show things. But instead, you have to sit here talking to me like Google Gaga. I'm I'm a baby. I don't understand anything. I need you to spell out every single thing that you need me to know. You can't show me things. I'm not able to visually infer stuff because I'm a baby. Google Gaga la la la. Hey genius, you made a show for babies. I'm half expecting Dora to come out and go, where's the right path? Can you tell me where the right path is? That's right, it's right over there. Oh my God, there's the evil Jedi Swiper. No, Swiper, don't take our Force babies from us. Jedi Swiper, no. Maybe you could have a huge action scene where they're, where they're trying to run away and the Jedi are like chasing after them because they're, they're using the Force wrong or something. So the Jedi perceive them as Sith. Something like that. Imagine how cool that would be as an opening scene. You're immediately thrusted into this battle. The Jedi are trying to kill these seemingly innocent people. But instead, we get a one-off line where they just say we're, we're hunted, hunted, persecuted. persecuted. For a simple way to describe how the budget really doesn't show, look, look at the big penis man, right? He was in the, the, the prequel trilogy. All right, cool, nice connection, cool. Look at how he looks. That something doesn't look right. Oh wait, I think I know what it is. It's like he should be a fetus because he wasn't born yet. You would think a show that costs more than any of these Star Wars prequels would be able to get that makeup right. Whenever a movie or show's budget is inflated to the point of absurdity and it doesn't really show on the screen, that kind of spells a troubled production. This kind of thing is very indicative of a team that doesn't really know what they're doing. That's right, but before that, we're going to have to decide which of us will be this group's leader. Huh? Naturally, I have the best qualifications. Any objections? <laughs> kind of just seems like they hired a very incompetent team. I mean, this is kind of what happens when you hire the team that thinks R2-D2 is a, a lesbian. I, I don't really think they know what Star Wars is. More outward. I think it's canon that R2-D2 is, is a lesbian. I mean, like, he's he's not... He, he's, he's a robot. He goes beep, boop, bop, boop, boop, beep. And are you telling me, with a straight face, that C-3PO is straight? Once again, C-3PO is a robot. But instead, he might go beep, boop, boop, bop, boop, boop, bop. Beep, boop, bop, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, bop. Hey, wait a minute. I don't think these guys really know what Star Wars is. The Godzilla minus one cost 15 million. Then they spent 180 million dollars.
<laughs> well, hello there. A little slow today, isn't it? <laughs> well, yes, it appears to be, Mr. Jurgen. I mean, how? How did? How do they do that? How does a TV show where they do f fuck all? They do nothing. There's like two action scenes, and it's a hundred and eighty million dollars. Godzilla minus one just came out this year. That was a fifteen million dollars, if that. How? I have no idea, Mr. Jurgen. It sounds like you need to destroy the source of your problems. Of course. I need to destroy the source of this. And I think I know exactly who to go for. Whiskey. Thank you very much. have the rest. Yeah. Yep. Destroy the source. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you're hiring someone on to do an installment in your big budget franchise, it's very important to get a director that knows the property well, that'll treat the property good. Because in the end, you do want the property to be good. You want people to keep coming back and asking for more. That's, that's just simple business. They've been saving their allowance for weeks to see this movie. What am I supposed to tell them? Just what the heck am I supposed to tell them? I mean, if you hire bad directors and keep turning out low quality installments to your franchise, you're gonna inevitably start seeing diminishing returns, oh. And you could kind of tell that the directors don't really know what they're talking about. Well, Anakin just killed a whole Death Star. How many people died on that? I am someone who doesn't avidly watch Star Wars. Even I can kind of tell that there's some things that it just gets very wrong. For example, the, the, the two Force twins. These two little, little shits were birthed by the Force, right? Using the Force. Hey, oh, wait a minute. It. Doesn't this, like, break the entire lore of Star Wars? Isn't Anakin the only person to be birthed by the Force from, from, from Palpatine? The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. And the only person to be birthed from the Force is the one to bring balance to it? You know, the main character of your entire series? Isn't he like the fucking Lisa Al Gaib or something? Yo. Yeah. Yo. Alright. So, I'll, I'll cut to the chase right away, right? I am... Okay. I'm, I'm making a video on uh -huh. uh, Star Wars at Acolyte Show, right? I don't know jack shit about the star wars lore like at all um okay. so i know the two twins they're they're like they're like force babies or whatever yeah. how how okay. much does that break lore well basic tldr palpatine and his master tried to make a sith out of the metachlorians out of the force right when the force saw that they were like what the fuck are you trying to doing and basically decided to make anakin rather than be this sith conduit of the dark side he became the chosen one and destined to destroy the sith as like a punishment for trying to even fuck with the force oh inter uh, so... interesting when they tried to make a, a force baby sith the force yeah. actively said fuck you you're not allowed to do that so they made so the force made the exact opposite person that they wanted okay so pretty much so what's with the 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 twins then shouldn't they be like the exact opposite of what the the two mothers wanted like i watched up to episode four but i didn't really watch episode four it was so boring um yeah i didn't but either. in the episode <laughs> three where all this is actually explained 
Uh, they don't really have a good explanation, at least oh. from what I can see. <laughs> like, they don't ever really directly... It's, okay, the kids seem totally normal, and they make it seem like they are able to manipulate the four. They basically, it makes them sound like, yeah, we did what they tried to do, but successfully. They, it just, it just basically to sound like, yeah, we, we did it because we can. It, it just undermines the entirety of what has basically built up Star Wars, which is Anakin being this special case that has been perpetuated by the Force. Well, there you have it right there, folks. Uh, I, I, I asked about the lore, and apparently it breaks everything to do with Star Wars. What a great show. What an actually fantastic show. You can really tell the creators really paid attention to the lore right there. You hired on people who don't know anything about Star Wars. Clearly, not a very great business decision going in. And you gave them your $180 million show? What are you on? In fact, this has been happening a lot with different properties. There's been a lot of new shows or movies that have come up from beloved properties that seem intentionally vindictive to the very property that it's adapting. Is it gonna be a talking point? I'm sure so. Because nerds are gay. And it's like, why? Is this like, is this like a new business strategy or something? Like, what, what does this gain in the end? Welcome to the new installment of the Godzilla series! Woo! Yeah, you guys love Godzilla, right? He is the mascot of this beloved franchise. Uh, but our market research from some unknown person in the head office has shown that you guys don't like Godzilla in your Godzilla series. So instead, we're gonna have Manny the Mammoth here, right? Look at that. Look at those two getting along. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, it's a bloody massacre! That was the first installment of our nine movie saga. Stay tuned! You had a hundred and eighty million dollars! Eighty million. You can go anywhere. You can do anything. Think about it. You can have any future that you want. And you burnt it. You fucking wasted it. Stinger fling, stinger fling, I know you're in there. Not on the hair of my chinny chin chin. A hundred and eighty million dollars. I'll huff that money, and I'll puff that money, and I will blow your budget and Fuck you, Stinger Flynn! Oh my god. What have I become? Of course. I'm spending all of this time ranting about a show that I have the decision whether or not to watch. If I don't like the show, I should just not watch it. You know what, Stinger Flynn? How about we just ignore the acolyte? I mean, if we don't talk about it, 
then what power does it really have? Let's just watch Among Us instead. Oh yeah, get off your couch and smash that like button!